So guys, you're probably wondering on um, where I have been and on um, everything like that. You see, I was assessed with a program called um, Woodrow Wilson Rehabilitation Center and it's actually a really good um, course and everything like that. And guys, I tried my hardest in that program and it is so much fun guys. Um, and there's like a whole lot of things you can learn from in the program that I was in. So let me give it to you this way. I was in a program which it's called PERT. PERT is actually a 10 day program. I stayed over there at 9 days which now I just hate the fact that I did but I'll get to that in a, in a moment because um, I'm going to be showing you guys about what I've done and what I've recently um, did. So I want to get into the good facts on what I've did so far. Um, guys, and just to clarify, I know I've been out on YouTube for a very long time and I know it, it is kind of a bit frustrating for me to deal with this, but um, guys, I'm so close to graduating high school and almost everything like that, but um, I'm still ready to succeed on graduation. Um, but anyways, the good parts about my, um, about Woodrow was that um, I got three job cycles that I did and the job cycles were very, very good. Um, the first one I took was IT, which I kind of did the worst out of it because I had to take like a bunch of tests and you know quizzes and everything like that and it, w it was just like insane to the fact that I had to do it though but I did it anyways because hey you guys know me I like computers and I like games but I didn't know the tests were that hard because they had to test where I had to do like Word document PowerPoint um, and it was like Microsoft stuff so it was basically all about on how to be in IT on computers um, another job that I did was forklift which forklift oh my lord Jesus I actually did pretty good on a ton of um, forklift stuff but I didn't actually drive a forklift it said I had to like um, it took me a while to um, think about doing forklift because um, I actually got accepted, which it's a good thing because I got accepted to um, materials handling, which it is so much fun, guys. Um, materials handling, I can handle that and I can work at any grocery store, um, any video store, video game store, you name it. It's all there. Um, and for my third job I did was, um, I did like horticulture, which I didn't stay there a while. I just stood there for like one day and did a whole bunch of planning. It's basically like horticulture is like a plant and, you know, it's where you can keep like um, plants safe from like pesticides or um, gross um, insects. I think I can name one which is white fly though but um it is on what it is and everything like that um and I do want to get um into the bad stuff that I've recently have not yet done but there's a couple of bad things I kind of did well one of those days was that I kind of um you know I kind of needed a little bit of sleep um, because it does require you to wake up like really early up in the morning like I woke up like at 630 or something like that and I, I just couldn't like keep my eyes open like whatever I'm like listening to the teacher and everything like that that was just the baddest thing I've ever done um, another thing on what I kind of did bad was um, my room inspection because I mean I do keep my room clean no joke, like I keep it all organized, but I did not know um, the fact that it was just, it was a bit of a disappointment that the fact that I didn't want to like vacuum and mop 
and everything like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, you know, I just pick up the trash off of my floor and put it in a garbage can and everything like that. But those were most likely the bad things I've done, basically. Um, and why don't we talk about the activities that I did, which, oh my god guys, there's a lot of choices at that program, of act, list of activities that you can do while you're at this Woodrow Wilson Rehabilitation Center, which it's actually located in um, Fishersville, Virginia, which if you live in Virginia, um, you can actually go to that program. Um, which for me, I went to the program for 10 days, but it, it was exactly 9 days because of the stupid um, snowstorm that I had um, to where I had like no school and everything like that, which I, I think it, it was just bad enough for me to even say that and all, but um, but without further or less, um, yeah, but yeah, there's a whole lot of options you can do, like such as, you know, I, for me, I did open gym, which open gym is like where you can shoot basketball, um, you can do volleyball, softball. Well, that's only for like for practices or, of teams though. But um, but that's what I I didn't do softball or volleyball. I just did open gym, which I can shoot basketball, Kobe. But um, anyway. So another thing I did was swimming, which they have an indoor pool, not an outdoor pool. If, oh my god, if we had like an outdoor pool, that'd be kind of cool, but then again, it would have to be warm. So without further ado, I did the outdoor pool, or I mean, excuse me, indoor pool, and um, did all that kind of stuff. Also, they have a bowling alley, which I enjoyed a whole lot. and. It's just, it's so nice, like in the bowling alley, um, because I was in there with a couple of new friends, which I may go back and um, review some of my friends that were actually very cool, um, and they really trust me a whole lot, and um, and all these friends that I had, they were very nice too, which. Um, which I will stop the recording about my, um, about my good behaviors and, uh, most of my bad behaviors, but without further more ado, um, I'll get into the next slide about food, and I'll check to you guys again later. Peace. Okay, guys. So now we are back here with the food. Now, guys, of course... The food, guys, what I would say about the food, it's really good. It is more better than cafeteria food. And I swear to you not, it is the best cafeteria ever. Now, something about that cafeteria that makes me um, feel like something, um, this is what they have in the cafeteria. They have like fruit punch, they have sodas, they have... Um, like, they have all sorts of kinds. Um, chocolate milk, you can drink, coffee, just any kind of drink. So much food to eat. And guys, I was very stuffed. I was, like, guys, like, you can eat, like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, guys. And I think that is just crazy. Crazy that you can, you can eat dinner here at Perth, but not at school which I think that's just a bit crazy though, but, um, but that's all I gotta say for the food, um, nothing too much though, but just the food, um, but next, next skit would have to be, um, my favorites, or actually my friends, so, I'll see you guys next. Ah. So we are here to talk about my friends over at the whole PERP program thing, right? Well, you got that answer correct because my friends from PERP are so amazing. And the fact is, the whole 
um, like, the people of Pert, they were very nice to me, and they gave me, like, a whole ton of respect, um, which, respect is basically like, um, you give them respect, and they give you respect back, but, which I have no idea what I'm talking about, though, but, um, anyway, um, the friends I had over at, um, Kurt, and I'm probably not gonna give out the photos of them, but, um, just probably, I'm just gonna talk about them, um, just because on how I felt about them with, um, of what they got, and I kinda understand, it's, it's kinda hard to, um, for them to live at a certain point, um, because some of them didn't want to go, and some of them, um, wanted to go, which, I mean, for me, I wanted to go just for education, but, um, but I got that privilege to do so. So, without further ado, I kind of want to mention my friends. Um, I would like to say a bunch of shoutouts to, um, Vince Keener, which he's actually a very cool dude. Um, he's a redneck, and, and of course, I'm a little bit of redneck-ish, but I'm not too sure. Another friend I want to shout out is Kyle McHewiston. He's a very cool guy. I like him a whole lot, and he's very cool. Another guy would have to be Angel, because he, pl he plays, like, very well on basketball. Um, and I just think he's a cool dude. Another guy I want to shout out is Jeff because, um, <laughs> my name is Jeff. Well, no, guys, my name is not Jeff. Um, well, anyways, well, this guy, he wanted to make his own YouTube channel, which, um, I'm here to help him on any time, so that's what, um, I call him in for. Um, another guy I want to shout out is Justin Jenkins, even though, um, I kind of mostly. I kind of hated the guy at first, but then again, he was cool, so, you know, I just stayed friends with him. Another guy I also want to shout out is Isaiah, because, um, he's an awesome dude. He kind of left early of the perk program, which I, I wish it that he could have stayed, but, I don't know, I just don't know. Um, two other guys I want to give out shout outs is, um, Tristan Castleman, because he is a very, very cool dude. Um, like him a whole lot, and I also want to give another shout out to Nathan, um, because he actually, he, he's cool, so, anyway, um, and that's all what I got for you guys, um, but probably the next slide is gonna be the days that I had did, and everything like that, so I will see you guys again on the next slide, peace out.
Thank you. 